State police just spent $30 million upgrading the radio system. And the agency now is also inviting local police departments to actually use it. It's an opportunity to get some more modern equipment under your roof as a police department, often at a fraction of the cost when it comes to rebuilding your own system. While some departments are jumping at this, some may still go it alone. Chief Investigator Lynn Bestoff examines why in our continuing series, At a Price, the High Cost of Local Town Living. 758 HQ. 758 HQ has you loud and clear. Two way radios are a lifeline for police officers and the people they help. Those radios are like a 911 call. Very, very important. As durable as these police radio systems are, eventually they need to be replaced. Either the technology becomes outdated or the equipment no longer is supported or they can't get replacement parts. Over the past year, a new choice has emerged for departments. The state police has offered to towns and cities use of its radio network, which has so much bandwidth that it can provide space to broadcast on the network for free, according to Department of Emergency Services. Services and Public Protection Commissioner James Ravella. This is great for a lot of these towns, but what does the state get out of this? Interoperability. Um, and the bigger picture is um, the ability to communicate with anyone and everyone that is on the system on a bad day um, in the state of Connecticut. When it comes to the state police radio network, a number of departments are taking up the offer to join it, including police from the town of Groton. Communities including the town of Groton, Stonington, Coventry, and Norwich tell NBC Connecticut Investigates that joining the state police network will save them millions of dollars, affording them a brand new state-of-the-art police radio system at a third of the cost or less. The municipalities must purchase new handheld and car radios, additional dispatch software, and radio tower enhancements. For something that was going to cost us, you know, in the neighborhood of three to three and a half million dollars, we've we've found a system that gets it for around eight hundred thousand. Town of Groton Police Chief L. J. Fasaro, a retired state trooper with experience using the state police network, sees no downsides to this new relationship. He says, besides better service at a lower cost, his department has fewer towers and equipment to maintain, and he's okay giving up that local control, something that has often been a roadblock to regional efforts like this in the past in Connecticut. I don't want to manage a radio system uh, to the extent that I don't need to. Not every Connecticut town sees it this way. Avon taxpayers recently voted to spend more than $4 million on a police radio network serving their town only. At a recent town meeting, Avon town manager Brandon Robertson, a member of the state's E911 commission, told residents, we just didn't think it was wise to throw our lot in with the state of Connecticut, adding the initial savings on a $4.1 million project was estimated to be about $500,000, and we would rather retain control. Neither Robertson nor the Avon PD granted us an on-camera interview for this story. In a statement, the chief said in part, at this time, the town of Avon feels it is in the best interest of the community to maintain our own core to meet our public safety needs. This system is a town-wide radio system to include police, fire, public works, and board of education. Len Bestoff, NBC Connecticut Investigates.